Hey guys, Dan from Sterling Self Defense here. Uh, gonna test out a new build today, but before we get to that, uh, I wanna tell you guys about a problem you're running. With FSE, C9.1, T8.1, all of them, use kind of the same internals. Now, a problem on a lot of brand new FSEs, I had a lot of people contacting me that could, couldn't get good numbers no matter what. Can't get over 300, don't know why. Now, I've run into this problem a lot. Brand new FC, put it all together, go to shoot it, low numbers, you know, way low, 30 FPS low. Can't figure out why. Man, I rip all through it, found out. Problems happen a lot, velocity spring, too short. From the factory, it's a factory thing. You know, see that? Should be around 30 to 32. And I find the other one's a lot smaller and just not getting the power, losing a lot of FPS. So, uh, if you're getting low numbers, we know you should be getting more, especially a brand new FSC out of the box. You did the mods, you did the barrel, and you're still getting low numbers. That's it. Six dollar little part, not a big thing, but it'll really take away a lot of power. So another brand new FSC today, same thing, boom, got it all together. Go to shoot it, 444. Yeah, some people had amazing, great numbers. Uh, my guns, not so much. Uh, it should have been around, you know, with the barrel and the gun I was using, should have been around, you know, 490s, 4 high 80s, somewhere around there. So news of problem, like straight to it, lots of spring, grab the brand new one, change it out, shoot it up, 488, boom, 488, 486, 492, no problem. That was the problem, stupid little $6 spring. So if you're running a problem where you know you should have better numbers, you're just not getting them, invest that $6 into a brand new velocity spring, Take the old one out, new one in, crank it all the way out, max it, quarter turn back, should be good to go. All right, today we're introducing the Ghost. It's a new build. It's got the rechargeable Balder O light on there, TAC light, green laser light. Uh, no, something a little different about this one. Brand new gun, but what don't you see? Any lettering, no FSC, no warning label, serial number, making you look like a little Nerf toy or a paintball gun. So I call him the ghost. All right, sear coated the whole thing this way, you know, doesn't look like a little toy, looks like what it's doing. Putting out some real power. All right, we're gonna load her up, eight gram tools, test her out, I'm gonna grab my eye protection. All right, gonna be shooting three quarter plywood. Solid oak three-quarter plywood. With my glasses on, hopefully we don't get any ricochets back at me. If we do, at least my eyes are protected. I'm a little close. I don't really recommend doing it this close, but I don't feel like setting up in the range, so this is where I build, this is where I test. All right, air up. Go ahead and click. All right. Oh, where's my chrono graph? Gotta get them numbers. All right. There goes the cat. Get out of here, cat. Psst, get. Get. Oh. Now it's not looking to me. Get. All right. All right, shoot, cat. All right. He'll run to the shoot. All right. Right through it. 500. Three quarter plywood. Oak. Ooh, right through it. 494. Right through it, 502. She's a hitter. Oh, that one came back and got me. That did not feel good. All right. That was uh, 492. Got a knot on that one. All right. Suck it up, you're gone. Nope, that one's not quite through. 498. Ugh, that hard oak plywood. Nope, that one's sticking there too. 500. Definitely, nope, that's all around, all right. That is some tough stuff. Last shot, 500 even. Ooh, mostly went right through. A couple of them just stuck in there. I'm over here. But a good test, good numbers. That's some solid plywood, good stuff. Now beef her up a little bit. And right through it every shot, no problem. All right, guys, let's show you one more time the ghost. Go 
hostess with the most hits. Good build, I like it. Real comfortable, put a little foregrip on there. Real nice. Make a good rifle, too. Might have to do that. Rear ASA, you got the VKS kit on there. So you can put a, uh, a rear ASA on there, put your tank on the back. But real comfortable, nice small build. I think I got a, got, and there's a two piece rifled barrel. Uh, I think I got a 14 inch in here with the suppressor. Real good build, solid, looks good. I like it without the words. I like that FSC on there and white really sticking out and the serial numbers and everything on the one side. But good solid build. All right guys, this one, uh, I didn't put it up yet, but I'll put it on the website. It'll be available some point today. All right, uh, till the next one. I think I'm gonna do another ice block. I got some ice freezing up as we go. Try out some jewels on the ice. See how that does. All right, guys, till next time. Take care. Stay safe.